So hello and welcome again. My name is Amanda Howard. I'm actually a criminologist and I'm also a researcher and I have the podcast Monsters Who Murder. I'd love for you to check those out. Um, on this channel, I do just bits and pieces in crime. I do um, accompaniments for the podcast. Often we uh, do the confessions on the podcast. So in our videos, we actually do the case studies just so then to give a bit of background. But I'm doing a series here of my top 10 serial killers via body counts. So I know you're probably expecting to see Harold Shipman and people like that, but you're actually not going to because these are serial killers most of you have probably never heard of. And so I'm bringing you some serial killers that are huge, but are very quiet. So I'm going to bring you some serial killers that you've probably never even heard of. Um, but these are the serial killers that come up in the top 10 for serial killer body counts. So when I'm using the term serial killer, this is about one, two or more victims in different events um, at different times. So this is not about mass murder, though some of these actually were mass murderers as well. Um, it's not just about sexual serial killers. It's not just about those that we consider like Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer and things like that. These are um, cult leaders. These are uh, poisoners. These are baby farmers and things like that. So you need to think more broadly when you're thinking about serial killers. So let's have a look. And um, one of them that I want to introduce you to is Wota Basson. So he is a South African serial killer and he's actually a doctor. So I know that many people know of Harold Shipman and he claims to have killed about 315 people, though he's actually not ever been declared with that many victims, but there is a possibility. So um, with this killer, uh, Dr. Basson, he was actually a cardiologist and he actually did a lot of physical experiments on a lot of people. He would actually uh, poison the drinking water or put it into alcohol or into milk and feed it to local villages. Now, this was in South Africa and it was actually, he was actually in charge of something called the Project Coast, which was actually a biological warfare test in the 1980s. So, I mean, we're not talking a thousand years ago, we're not talking about some um, far away land. We're actually talking about a South African cardiologist. Now he actually would often give people um, cigarettes laced with anthrax. Now anthrax is quite deadly as, as we know and so people would be given these products un unknowingly using them that had actually been given to them by a doctor. Now doctors are often our most um, professional people would we actually look to doctors for help um, we believe what they say yes you sometimes go and get a second opinion but often um, these are like that that sort of high pinnacle in society that we consider them the be all and end all especially in intelligence and ethics so to have a serial killer like Harold Shipman we have Wu Basson that actually kills because he can and he's part of biological warfare testing so he actually at one point went into a village and actually gave the entire village's people muscle relaxants so then they were all sort of paralyzed but still very much alive then he put these people onto uh, onto boats took them out into the ocean and dropped them in so they drowned not being able to save themselves i mean he did this to 200 people let alone the other victims that he actually killed so you know when we're talking about sheer numbers he he comes in at number 10 now i have a database of over 5500 serial killers and this guy is in my top 10 for body counts so though he killed similar numbers to what Harold Shipman's actually been suspected of, but of course he, he never faced trial for anything um, beyond the first 15 or so purely because he took his own life before that those cases went ahead. Um, we have Basson who actually sort of um, gazumps him. So we're, we're talking about someone who is actually pure evil. So it doesn't get much worse than seeing a whole village annihilated by someone who could do so purely because he had the access to drugs that would render them paralyzed. I mean, could you imagine the sheer fear and terror these bodies, these people would have had realizing that they are next to go into the ocean and there's nothing they can do. The internal terror, the internal screaming that was obviously going on would have been horrendous. And there's no way he could have done this alone. So he obviously had a team that helped him. And as we know, this is a part of his biological warfare study. So um, there is a lot of human ethical uh, issues with this. And there's a lot of unethical testing that goes on throughout history and we can even ju ju just look at wikipedia for a source to look at at um things just like mk ultra and, and and the syphilis trials and things like that that this just sort of shows what goes on when it's not under such a a keen eye to um investigate and and change things like this so 
anyway, Basson is at my number 10. Um, I'm going to do a few of these. So hopefully I'll see you in my next one when I do number nine.